I put nair on my face and it fried my epidermis. Unfortunately, this looks so painful and I'm sorry about the situation, but let's talk about the safety of hair removal creams. In my opinion, as a toxicologist and a cosmetic safety assessor, hair removal creams are considered one of the easiest personal care products that can be misused by the general public. And when misuse happens, undesirable side effects is guaranteed. And for the unlucky few of us, using the product as intended, but still we get side effects. So let's discuss their safety and ways to reduce the risk of undesirable effects and other side effects. To understand the safety of a specific product, we need to understand the main active ingredients and their safety profile. Most of the hair removal creams on the market are based on theoglycolic acid and its salts. The main mechanism of action for or the theoglycolic acid and its salt is that it has the ability to break disulfide bonds in a specific protein that exists in your hair, which is keratin. When those disulfide bonds are broken, when you apply the theoglycolic acid uh, salts formulation, the structure integrity of your hair gets compromised. And so a simple mechanical action can remove the hair. But unfortunately, because not only your hair as a structure is rich with keratin, which is the target of theoglycolic acid and its salt, but also your skin is rich with keratin, specifically the stratum corneum, which compromise their skin barrier. So the theoglycolic acid actually also target the keratin in your skin barrier, leading to a reversible damage. When theoglycolic acid and its salt were assessed by the European Commission 10 years ago, they found out that the theoglycolic acid and its salt as ingredients has the potential to be skin irritant, skin sensitizer, and at high concentration could be skin corrosive. This hazard-based classification led for theoglycolic acid and its salt to be put on the annex with restricted use, which means this ingredient can't be used above certain concentration, which is usually 5%. And one of the steps during the safety assessment of theoglycolic acid is the margin of safety. Think of margin of safety without getting into too much details as a concept for protection layers. It allows us to quantify the probability of you getting any type of risk because the margin of safety shows us how far are you from the highest dose that doesn't cause any type of adverse effects and in the EU, the limit of 100 time is usually the threshold for acceptance. But when we look at the safety assessment of theoglycolic acid and its salt, we found it that to be the margin of safety of 78, which is below 100, the threshold for acceptance. Usually, us toxicologists and safety assessors, if the margin of safety go below 100, we usually reduce the concentration, or if the concentration cannot be reduced, due to loss of efficacy, we usually ban this ingredient. But although the thioglycolic acid and its salt has a margin of safety of 78, we still accepted it and consider it safe because it's considered the active ingredient of a specific product that will be used to remove hair. And we know hair don't grow super fast after removal, so there is a, let's say, a buffer time between each use and this product that contain this type of ingredient will not be used daily on the same area of skin. And here where we come to the understanding the importance of following the instruction of use. Because on the market, there are a lot of formulation that are assessed for safety differently depending on the body part that you are going to use. So on the market, you might see a hair removal cream for the face, for the private area, and for the body. Please do not use them interchangeably because the amount of the active ingredients and its salt is formulated specifically to give the highest efficacy and the lowest risk of irritation for that specific body part. You might see a hair removal cream for the face contain lower concentration, lower than 5%, and you need to leave it on your skin more time to give the efficacy and reduce the risk on the body could be the opposite. An example of misuse is a person using hair removal cream for the body, formulated for the body, and safety assessed for the skin of the body on the face that could lead easily to chemical skin burns or leaving the product on the skin for longer time. So now let's talk about the tips I provide you to reduce the risk of misuse 
and undesirable effect and the risk of side effects if you are using according to the instructions. As I explained earlier, Theoglycolic acid and its salt target the keratin in your skin, leading to a significant but reversible damage to your barrier, which means your barrier lose its function for a small period of time, and that period of time is very important. So I will base my advice for you in two, three sections. Before using the hair removal creams, during the usage of hair removal creams, and after the usage of hair removal creams. On the day before you want to use the hair removal cream that is based on theoglycolic acid and its derivative, it's really important to take care of your skin and support its barrier. Using barrier creams, using mild actives on that area will really help your skin reduce the risk of any type of undesirable effect or side effects. What I would recommend for you is to use any type of formulation that is able to support your skin barrier the day before you want to use the hair removal creams. Any formulation you prefer, creams, lotions that contain a high concentration of barrier supporting ingredients like lipids, ceramides, fatty acid, cholesterol, and antioxidants. And I will explain the antioxidant parts later. And now during the usage of the hair removal cream, my advice for you is to follow the instruction very, very well. That includes the amount applied, the time needed, if you are exposed to too much heat, and when you remove the product, use lukewarm water, not hot or cold. After the application advice, when the theoglycolic acid, unfortunately for some people more than others, attack the barrier and disrupt its function, it's really, really important to use sun protection, apply very mild formulation of creams and lotion that does not contain any type of active ingredients. The more basic, the better, and the reduced risk of any type of reaction to the product itself because thioglycolic acid when interacting with the keratin in your skin barrier lead to an action similar to penetration enhancer agent which mean your barrier is not able to do its function by limiting the uh, skin penetration of active ingredients so use the mildest most basic type of formulation to reduce any risk of reaction to any type of cream you want to use that means staying away from any type of exfoliants, whether it's uh, salicylic acid, AHAs, or even PAHAs. And my last tip is making sure that this area is far away from any type of physical stress like friction. And why I did recommend enriching your skin care routine before the day of application with antioxidant because the damage that theoglycolic acid when studied up close was found to be similar in a way to the damage that happened to the skin when it's exposed to UVB radiation and when the wound healing process is happening, which means the type of damage that theoglycolic acid can do to your skin barrier is exhausting your antioxidant storage in your skin. That's why you also see a lot of formulation that is directed toward reducing the risk of irritation is enriched with vitamin E, for example. Those are my tips for you as a cosmetic safety assessor and toxicologist, and as always, I wish you to stay safe.